Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and in today's video, I'm gonna make, well, pizza. But being a vegetarian, one of the things that I love about pizza is putting things that people don't typically put on pizza on pizza. Like, for example, you probably recently saw I made a jalapeno and pineapple pizza, which is like my favorite, because it's sweet, and it's spicy, and it's delicious, and I can just stick my whole face in it. And this pizza is kind of like that too. I love broccoli on pizza. It's not a common ingredient on pizza, but trust me, if you try it, I believe you will love it. So let's get to making it. First thing I'm gonna do is to add my broccoli just to a little uh, chopper and just broccoli and olive oil. Real simple, just so it actually will spread easily on the dough. Okay, so I have my broccoli in the chopper. I'm gonna add some olive oil. I've made broccoli pesto for a few things before. I've made it for mac and cheese. It's really, really great. There's one gotcha when you're making it. That is, if you're gonna eat it immediately, it doesn't have to be cooked beforehand. And like, since we're gonna bake the pizza, it's totally fine here. But if you wanted to make broccoli pesto to incorporate it to other things that you're gonna consume, if you plan on consuming that over the week, you wanna blanch it first or cook it first because once you mince it to this tiny little finite pieces that it is for pesto, it easily will spoil. And needs a little bit more olive oil. It's starting to get there. With such a small chopper, you have to scrape down the sides. And I'm gonna add more olive oil because you can just never have too much. I mean, maybe you can, but I'm gonna say no. There we go, okay. We got our broccoli pesto. Okay, so we made our pesto. I have my pizza dough. Now, I'm using a gluten-free uh, pizza dough mix from Bob's Red Mill for this. You can use whatever pizza dough that you like. You just want about a pound of fresh pizza dough or whatever standard one you get from the store will be totally fine. Start off with adding some marinara sauce. I like my pizza saucy, just like I like my friends. Now I'm just gonna add in some scoops of the broccoli pesto and just kind of spread that around a little bit. Add our mozzarella cheese. I also like my pizza, it's cheesy. Add in some corn. And just add in some red onion. It's sweet, it's tangy. It's my kind of pizza. So like I said, I'm using uh, a gluten-free crust here. It's a pizza crust mix by Bob's Red Mill. And the reason I like to mix it up, so I'm not gluten-free, but I like to have gluten-free stuff sometimes just to make it fun and exciting. And I really like the products from Bob's because they're just really high quality, which I think is really important when you're buying any sort of alt flour, whether it's like an almond flour, coconut flour, or a gluten-free mix of some sort. Having a brand that really knows how to make those well done flours is just really important. And so that's why I'm using this mix here. Okay, so now I'm gonna bake it at 425 for about 10 to 12 minutes, just until that crust kind of rises, the cheese melts and gets a little golden brown. It's gonna be so nice. Okay, so I baked the pizza, took it out of the oven, slice it up and give it a try. So slice up my pizza. It smells really good. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try. Maybe, it's a little hot. We'll see how that goes. There we go, oh, it's nice and steamy, okay. And it's very, very hot. <laughs> but it's also very, very good. So like I said, the thing that's great about this pizza, sneak in some veggies. So if you wanna get more broccoli into your diet or your kid's diet, or just, I don't know, some random stranger's diet, like, it's a really tasty way to do that. If you like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week, so please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment below. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna go eat some pizza.